Hi folks, welcome back to Gear and Tackle Travels. I'm your host Aaron and on today's episode we are going to be installing the Tactical Overland Jerry Can mount on the fender of my trailer. For those of you who haven't heard of Tactical Overland, go ahead and give them a follow on Instagram and Facebook. Or if you want, you can visit my link tree on Instagram and uh, go ahead and check out their website. They specialize in overlanding trailers, uh, clothes and all types of uh, accessories to modify and outfit your outdoor rigs. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, drill a couple holes and get this mounted up. So this right here is one of my clearance lights and it sits up a little bit high. So I've gone ahead and cut some rubber blocks and drilled some holes out and I'll be using that as a little bit of a riser for the mount to sit on. Okay folks, I got my jerry can mount in position. One thing I'm noticing now that I've used those rubber blocks, I'm probably gonna have some side to side movement and I might be adding a piece of rubber to the top here just to prevent that a little bit of scratching uh, on the exterior of the trailer. But I'm going to go ahead and drill out my holes and uh, run my bolts in and we're, we're in business. So I'm using quarter inch bolts, stainless steel and big flat washers for underneath the fender uh, along with nylocks. So I'm gonna go ahead and button those up and see if that does the trick. So welcome to the reality of doing it yourself. First off, um, for a nylock to service purpose, you want to see at least three threads showing. And I've noticed already with the height of my rubber, I'm going to need longer bolts, but that's an issue I can take care of later. Another thing with me adding the rubber and the amount of vibration that these trailers take down the highway, I will have an issue with side to side movement. So, you know, once I pull this all off and change those bolts, but for video purposes, we're gonna continue on today. But I will be removing this, adding extra longer bolts and just adding a piece of rubber to the back side of here. Maybe a pop rivet or something will take care of that. And that way we're not damaging the exterior of the trailer. But continuing on, we'll be adding the gas jug and continuing and finishing the job. So this particular mount, gas jug mount from Tactical Overland is uh, made specific for the military cans, the steel ones. And my buddy Renee just so happened to stop by today with one of these. Now it's plastic, it's not the exact measurement as I was, I was, as I was planning on using, but you know what, when he's got something lying around and he says, hey, go ahead, use that, I'm gonna make it work. Problem is, just a little high on the cap. The cap's built a little bit differently. It being plastic, it has extra additives to it. So it's not allowing my my locking mechanism to, to fully function properly. So off to the fab shop and I just simply bolted a P-clamp onto it. Uh, and that allows me to still be able to lock it into place. And there we have it. Thanks for tuning in to Gear and Tackle Travels. And don't forget to subscribe to Tactical Overland's YouTube uh, channel as well. So thanks for tuning in. If this is your kind of thing, feel free to subscribe, hit that like button, and we'll see you next time on the next modification.